Hello everyone, so these uh, following videos um, are going to be the workshop tutorial guides for ANSYS. So this video here is going to be looking at some of the core skills for um, ANSYS design modeler. So we'll be looking at a design model of basics, so we're looking at a CFD enclosure, even though there's many different ways of doing that, and there's also the um, FEA pattern, so very, very basic, and we'll go from the core skills. So workshop 1.1 looks at the design model of basics, and this is where we're going to be making a T-junction. Um, so what I'll be asking for everyone to do is grab a geometry file, um, a single component, drop it on into the workbench, and then right click on the geometry and select new design modeler. Now once design modeler is opened up, um, we're going to change the unit uh, to inches for this workshop. Um, and once we've done that, then we can look at the XY plane. So we've got our tree outline and again, toolbars on top. So XY plane, um, and what we want to do is we want to look at that plane. So you've got the viewing plane here. Once we've got this, then what we want to do is we want to do a new sketch on the XY plane. So you've got the new sketch item um, icon here. And once we've done that, we want to then select the sketching um, tab. So you've got the modeling tab, then you've got the sketching tab. So once the sketching tab is selected, um, what we're going to look for is the circle. And once the circle is selected, if you go over to the center point, you'll see as you go onto the line, you'll see a C. That means it's constrained. And if you see a P, then it snaps to the actual point. Um, and this is what we want to do, is we want to select that point. And once we select it once, move the mouse out and then drop it again, and then we've got our circle here. Um, so as I mentioned before, it's a sketching tool, so we will then, then need to apply a dimension. So once we get the dimension, the general um, dimension tool can usually pick up everything that's needed. Um, so here we'll just use a general one, select that, and then just drop it here, and we've got our D1. And the value that we want to put in here is four inches. So we've got that there. And now that we've got the four in there, we're going to then uh, select the ISO button here. Um, and you'll see that it changes our view into an isometric view. And we want to reselect a different plane now. So it's going to be the ZX plane. Um, and then just go to the modeling, see the ZX plane is highlighted. And what we want to do now is we're going to be creating a new sketch on that ZX plane. So uh, again, just select this, new sketch, sketch two, go to sketching, draw a circle, and that circle is going to be from that point here, and then drop it out, and then just go to dimension, that's going to have a value of six inches. And again, by default, the last sketch is highlighted. So if we can um, always show sketch and always show sketch, you can see that it has both sketches on our screen now. And again here, all I've done here is use the middle mouse button, um, hold it down, and you can rotate um, as need be. So the next thing now is obviously to extrude these um, sketches. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to um, select sketch one and you've got the extrude button here or you can go to create and extrude. It's the same thing. I always use a tool. Once you've done that, um, you can see automatically it extrudes it out. So you can see what, what's there and the value that we want to put in there is 14.75. And you would have to press the generate. So, as you can see, it's asking for the generate um, icon there. Once we generate that, we can see that we have our first um, extruded cylinder. So, the next one is selecting sketch two. Um, and again, here, just click on it once that's been selected. You can press extrude. Um, and for example, if I just delete this now, um, I just pressed extrude now see automatically it asks you know what would you like to extrude <clears throat> so here for us it's sketch two and then we press apply the key thing here is we want to make sure that it's 14 
and this time we want it to come out symmetrical. So where it says the direction, select this and go to both um, symmetric. And then again, using the middle mouse button, just rolling it down, you can see that um, it generates once we've done that. And as it's add material and add material, you can see that it's become as one material. So again here, we can you know use the orientation so you can click on the Z, on the Y, on the X. Um, you know it, it gives you um, definite views. Also at the same time you can amend the um, dimensions. So you can go to your different sketches. Uh, for example, here if you put in two, press Enter, press Generate, it will automatically change uh, what's needed. So again, put that to four and then generate. There's also other features as well. I'll just quickly show you the cut feature. Um, so again, click on the plus Z, click on this here. It's a new section plane, drop a line inside, and then you can see physically inside your model as well. Um, and don't forget to untick here. Um, it will then bring it back. Also at the same time, by selecting this, you can use this tool here to move the cutting plane as well by left clicking on this. Okay, so that's workshop 1.1. What we're going to do now is we're going to move on to 1.2a is the CFD enclosure. So you'll, you'll need to import in some parts here. So again, we've got, by going back to your design modeler, drag and drop in another geometry file. Right click, import, um, sorry, new design modeler. And the file that we're looking for is the blade XT file. So then file, import, again, depending on the download files or not, mine are already on my PC. Once that's generated, you can see the lightning strike, press generate, and that brings in the actual model that we need. And what we're going to do here now is, as you can see, this is a, a wing section. What we're going to try and do is, uh, sorry, a, a blade section here. What we're going to try and do is put an enclosure around that so airflow can go around it for whatever purpose it needs. So as I said, there's many ways of doing this. You can generally create your own enclosure and then uh, use a Boolean function to subtract, or you can use the enclosure function here, where, which is what we're going to be doing. So by going on to the uh, create uh, section, so the tool section on the top, so you've got tools here, and then as you can see straight away, there's an enclosure feature here. Select the enclosure and leave everything as default, but the shape you can see here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that as cylinder. Um, and now, as you can see, it's one, one, one. Target is gonna be all bodies. Uh, we don't wanna merge, um, export enclosure, yes. Okay, and then just press generate and you can see straight away it creates an enclosure around this. Now, what does that enclosure mean? If you go into the part files and you've got the first one, if you right click and hide that body, you can see that the enclosure basically surrounds the body. Um, and you can see here how the inner blade has intersected with the outer domain. So that's again, just one way of doing this um, using an enclosure method. So that's just a very simple, basic um, uh, workshop. So if we close, on, close this one down, we can move on to the next one, which is 1.2b. And again here, what we're doing is just looking at a very basic pattern uh, function. Um, again, so we just drag and drop a geometry file, right click, um, new design modeler. And once that's opened up, again, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be importing in a part, and the part that we're looking for is called FanHub XT file. So file, import, Sorry about that. FanHub XT open. And then press generate. And you can see that it's now imported in um, your part files. So what we want to do is making sure that the face tool selection is selected. Select the face. And then once we've got to select that face, we press the new um, plane. Press generate and it's created us a new plane on that section here. And what we want to do now is obviously just click on the plus there so we can see what we're doing. And the 
what we want to do is we want to create a circle on that surface. So now we've got the X, uh, the play four on that surface. New sketch, sketching tool, and we draw a circle. And just draw it anywhere, it doesn't really uh, matter. So just draw a circle there, drop it down, and now let's give it some dimensions and constraints. So first of all, the diameter is eight millimeters. So we will just make sure that we are in millimeters. Um, select that edge and give it eight millimeters. Now also we've got some other dimensions that it's 17 millimeters away from the x-axis and 17 millimeters away from the y-axis. So this time the general tool will not work so I always go with the horizontal for the first one. So see the point and then the axis so that's 17 and then vertical from that point to this point, sorry this edge and 17 there and um, now we have our circle. So the next thing to do now is we're going to use the extrude so we'll go back from sketching to modeling and again we're going to use the extrude, select sketch one, apply but this time we're going to use it as a cut material so here it's not allowing us to use a cut material. So what we'll do is we'll add it as frozen. And you can see that it's coming out ever so slightly in the wrong direction. So if we put 20 mil there put that in reversed, just knock it down a bit more, so it's like 5 mil, okay, so 10 mil, so we add that as frozen, not a problem, so got that there, and what we want to do now is use a pattern function and select our body apply this is going to be circular and the axis select the surface here we'll go to our axis and the number of patterns that we need is five press generate and it will generate five now obviously here what we're going to do is we're going to cut those away so create boolean select this body Okay, so subtract target body is this one and tool bodies are the tiny little ones that we created apply generate and now it's cut away so ever so slightly different from the uh, workshop um, um, instructions but as you can see now um, it, it has subtracted away okay. So hopefully that's just the basics and we can move on next to um, the next workshop which is uh, looking at geometry creation and modelling for module 2.